Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. Folks, the time has finally oh. come. Oh. We are checking out The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. This is the first look trailer and apparently the only one we're getting. So let's check it out. The king and queen are back. Let's go. Here we go. I'm looking for him. <laughs> Carmelo. Him. I'm going to head north. Whoa. This. Ship. You don't want to go north. Not now. Jesus. Ugh. My wife oh. is my choice. My daughter is that. my choice. My life is my choice. It's been so long. Your phone, you know what it says? The Japanese? Believe a little bit longer. <clears throat> Thank you, Grimes. Why? You showed me I can't get away. This is the most powerful military oh. on the planet. I'm just gonna ask you a question, Grimes. Oh. Look in your eyes. Why are you <gasps> here? Ah, yeah. Do you want to kill? Or do you want to die? Look in my eyes, sir. You tell me. Mustard gas? Uh-huh. Who's this gonna be? Looks like Rick was in the mask. At least oh. we all we're running this back. Oh, we're running back. We're oh, wait, wait, wait. oh. We can make this whole damn world ours if we want to. That looked like she was like looking up at a helicopter, man. And it smiling the wind. And she yeah. was seeing. Yeah, she was uh, absolutely looking oh, at a helicopter. All right, here we go. Let's run it back. Oh god, right. it's good to please, see them back. Please deliver. All right, so she's now, still on the hunt. Oh, she's, out, she's out searching. <laughs> she's out searching. <gasps> is that a walker with no arms? Tony yes, stuff? that oh, is. Okay, so she's, no jaw, no she's jaw. Up, up to her old tricks again. Yep. So uh, no jaw, no arms, yeah. towing a wagon. Yeah, How just, genius. Genius. Oh, is that show? Is, oh, well, there's that? a boat behind it, too. Yeah. Well, there's a boat there, yeah. Uh, that's the gentleman that we just saw, right? Yeah. Talking to her. So, yep. But that's genius, using the walker to help pull yep. your gear. Yeah, pull your makes, gear. Makes sense. Look at that cruise ship. Safe harbor. A safe harbor. Oh, uh, oh, I didn't even, yeah, I didn't even catch the that in the the first. Anything about no, I didn't. I didn't catch it either. So it looks like there's some sort of um, like canopies or tents up there over to the right that wouldn't be what's normally on a cruise ship. It's all but, angled though. Well, there's yeah. nobody on there. I think this used to be safe harbor. There ain't nobody there. Now. Yeah, no, that yeah. signs that signs not uh, nothing. Plus, about, it's all tilted. Nothing about that looks safe anymore. <laughs> You don't want to go north, not now. Okay, north. Like, Did I lose so sound we talking? No, I still no, have sound. I still got sound. So that they said is... north. Now we talking like above New York, like Canada, because well, right in that now, other shot they showed there was mountains. So that makes me think the western part of the country, north. Y yeah. So it's interesting, right? Because she, they didn't really like where we know where Rick is is around Philly. We know that for sure because they kind of come out and said, hey, we're in this area. Yeah. So if she was still in D.C. area, right, with Negan and all of them, then she's coming from that way to Philly. This could be like the Appalachians going up. Yeah, but up when, they, east. when they showed that scene of uh, the dudes all kitted out, like that looked like the Rocky Mountains or the Canadian Rockies or something. Uh, but we'll see. Okay. We'll yeah, we'll run it back though, because that looks like those are Appalachians. Yeah, that's for not sure. Canadian rock. That's not the Rockies. Now what is now this? this? Yeah, look at that. And did you hear the noise on that? Yeah. All right. Okay, so what city is this? This is I was told, or not I was told. <laughs> what city what is they this? said in the comments, Savage. and I think uh it, they kind of said too, uh, is that this is like the Philly skyline. 
Okay. Well, Maybe that's what it is. So where <laughs> this individual is sitting, the grass looks cut. It looks clean. You got the little flag up. Well, I that's mean, Rick. I mean, that's the yeah. The that's that's, that's, main, that's, that's maintained. Okay, I couldn't tell if it was. That's Rick. maintained yeah, that's grass, Rick. and that's not a yeah. flag that we've seen before. Of all my travels, uh, the place that I, I've haven't gone for work <laughs> is Philadelphia, so I don't recognize. I don't yeah, recognize so that's that skyline. CRM flag. Yeah. That's. I'm 98 percent <clears throat> sure that's Rick. Yeah, that looks like cowboy boots. My life the lawn. is my choice. That's interesting that I they have. have look at the, the wall. It's like. Okay. Look at this. So the, I know in the last one, we were talking about uh, some folks had the idea that Rick lost his hand because, you know, he had that awkward like. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. In the, in the fire there. So until I see that his hand is gone, I'm still staying with that's not a hand missing. But it does bring up this, this particular frame right here does bring yeah. up a funny. Because why is why, he using why the crook of his elbow? Yeah, but is that. Post? Yeah, why would. Why why do that? Unless he's like trying to pull that door shut, if that's like a sliding door, maybe. I oh, don't know. that's a good point. Maybe that is a door. There's the handle right there, and he creaked it open. And then yeah, boom. and then he did the. So that way he could stay in control of the door. Oh, uh, the other thing that you would be able to. And this is, look, this is getting nitpicky, but like this is how invested we are. If I'm jabbing two-handed and pulling out and there's the possibility of it sticking with two hands there's a balance issue it looks like he could have his hands if i use my shoulder or my elbow as a as a level and i push it in then i can brace myself against the wall and and i can pull yeah. out a lot better than if it gets stuck you're just sitting there going like this yeah. with a walker head where if i have my arm on the wall and it's resting here and especially if there's a handle there, if these are doors, right? Yeah. Uh, so, well, yeah, it, that's a good point. It if, appeared yeah. as if there's a gap wide enough here, but if you go back like two frames, just go back a, just a hair, a little bit more. No. Well, we go back 10 times. Okay. First, I thought that was a grappling my hook. Life is my right choice. there. No, wait. Right, okay, so my that brick. Is my but it looks like halfway up the brick, there's like almost like a like a ledge. My daughter, come on. My... <laughs> oh. Just 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 play it, I'll, and I'll right I'll, there. I'll... Okay, so there is just a gap, so there yeah. is no handle. So it looks like there's a gap, but it looked if you run if you play it again, I'll I'll say pause real quick. They're purposely right there. I don't know what that is right there, yeah. but you see on the left? Yeah, it almost looks like a window. It looks like there's some sort of barrier there. So if they, here's what I'm thinking. If you have these gaps in the wall, but maybe a waist high barrier, then they're not necessarily going to climb over it, but you can stand there and yeah, yeah. take them off one by one without the risk of them pushing through because that's that looks to me that looks like a cement wall with a cement slab on top and if i had a cement slab or a cement thing that's about two or three feet look at look at us yes. look at us this guy's really getting if into I, it. No, 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 but seriously like this is stuff like we play out in our head if you had a gap this big and then a cement barrier this big they wouldn't be able to get you with their yeah, hands yeah, because it's of too the thick. cement barrier but you'd still have an opening big enough to yeah, use a drive spear. a spear through while keep a safe distance. Oh, right there. It, look at the way he's holding it in that hand. Mm -hmm. They're still not showing his They're left hand. They're still not showing his left hand, but what would that be resting on if he doesn't have his other hand on it? Right. I, and again, I know some people will be like, it's no, just, now, hands now, you on, it still, now that you brought yeah. it up, well, this is a new, know. this is a new construction they're working on. Look at those materials in the background. I don't know if that's construction materials or food. Those water, could be but supplies. It's supplies. So. It's the uh, su supplies of some yeah. sort. Yeah. yeah. Let's knit, we're going to nitpick. The the oh. My daughter is my choice. So he's been going to town because yep. now he was just clean. Yep. There's somebody now back there watching, too. Yep, dirty, no helmet, uh, no face. Somebody. My life is my choice. Oh, wait. Did he? They just showed an arm okay. on that. He didn't come up high enough. Okay. No. Yeah, I didn't think they would. But he's starting to get more more. But the see how that him. see how that walker that last one looks like it's reaching through as if it's yeah. that something is barricading its waist. So what I think here is Rick kind of just started going to town on this, and these people are like, whoa, what's yeah. going on here? He probably didn't want to do it, and then they probably pushed him, and then he just went. Yeah, or they told him, hey, you go take care of this you know, newbie or grunt. 
believe a little bit longer. Thank you, Grimes. Why? You showed me I can't get away. All right, so you showed me I can't get away. So apparently, obviously, now, is it multiple times he's tried getting away? I assume so, because yeah. remember, he got picked up and they were saying, uh, Mr. Grimes or kind yeah, when he was whatever the they use the, the verbiage, you can't get away from us. So I wonder if it's just that time or there's been multiple attempts. I'm just going to assume multiple attempts. Multiple attempts. Yep. And she's saying it's like, you, hey, you proved I thought it, I could that do it, do it but it's done. not possible. Yep. And what is she drinking? Whiskey? Single well, malt yeah, whiskey? Looks, is it clear, though? But it's a whiskey bottle. Yeah, it it's, says whiskey on it. Clear. See, now yeah, this looks most, like the Rockies that or does not look like the Canada Appalachian. or something. Well, keep in mind, right, the CRM has multiple locations, mm -hmm. which we found out in World Beyond. Yep. So this could be them flying to a, another uh, settlement or another base. Yeah, but it's it's not on the East Coast. That's not no. Appalachian Mountains, no. There's no way it is. You see the mountains poking through the clouds. That's I don't believe that's Appalachian no, Mountains. No, it's not. The planet. And yeah. there's General Beale himself with the CRM army that we're going to get introduced yeah. to here. Just gonna ask you a question, Grimes. Look in your eyes. I lost. Uh, now, this guy, this that's guy Graham in, McTavish, isn't this guy's it? In lost, right? He was in the yeah, show yeah, Lost in and played uh, an incredible character. He's also in Rambo. I haven't 4. seen Lost, but in the show we might lost. entertain that. But yeah, I love this guy. And wow, does dude talk about aging well? He looks like a badass with a beret and that beard there. So he's General Beale, who is a. I don't. Depending on who you talk to, he has uh, some importance. Some with some will say significant. Some will say it's just a, you know he's a, a character that needs to be. I like this somehow. casting. I really like this casting, and it's perfect for you know because the, there's been throughout the years I've been hearing about how Lost is kind of tied in with The Walking Dead because of the creators and oh. the writers <laughs> and everything, right? So it just it's hilarious. <laughs> Why are you here? Do you want to kill? Or do you want to die? Look in my eyes, sir. You tell me. Good old, good old Andy. <laughs> Gosh. And there's this scene right here that it's a little yeah, too in, dark on the TV. Yeah, and the yes, forest. we have the brightness up where his hand is flying. So maybe I might have to check that out again when I get in post here. And yeah. And see what's going on. but Because that was the same scene from before that they showed us. That real ah, so he's some artwork. Yeah, he's in there. a different Old spot. Mural got some on a concrete in the back. background. Yeah, well, he's wearing different clothes, too. And he's clean. He's got his uh, brown jacket on there. Not the CRM, I don't think. And then he's covered in blood right there. Oh. Okay, so, look at that. So All these walkers. Uh, it looks like a whole city on fire. That is a city on fire. Now, remember in the uh, very last episode of The wa uh, World Beyond, they were starting to take out well, settlements. Yep. Those wouldn't, is that a cornfield? That looks like a field of sorts, but yeah, it wouldn't be walkers. Look at the way it's. Oh lined. yeah, they're too. Yeah, they're too lined up. Yeah. And taking out this, another city there. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. It almost reminds me of uh, season two when uh, they were showing the flashback. Yeah. Shane and Lori on the they're highway. On the highway. And they were Napalm and City. Go back once to the uh, scene with Michonne in the hallway. There was something on the wall there. I wanted to read. What is that? I thought maybe it'd give Man, us an idea. This mouse is real touchy tonight. I thought it would give us an idea of where she is. For, oh, she's in. Okay, Forest she's dwellers. in like a. She's in like a museum or yep. uh, something like that. Okay. Forest dwellers. Or like a, a state forest will have those little yeah. uh, museum type houses. Uh, you mm -hmm. can check out. Okay. Good call though. Yeah, good catch. The characters. Oh. Jadis, ah. <laughs> you had to know she's going to be here oh, for this yeah. one. So it, uh, help me out. Are, is that walker we just saw on fire or is that like a burning, burning one, a burner type? Like, what are we, what are we talking about here? So it looked like he was the, it's tricky, right? Cause it looks like it was getting hit with something. Yeah. Right yeah. Here. Air gun or and something. it's just, yeah. So I don't know. Maybe they are introducing some, like they did in Daryl Dixon. Yeah. I don't know. Well, we better get some smart walkers. That's all I'm saying. You know, in this one, I know I was complaining a lot and they giving us, <laughs> give us variants. Yeah. And if they don't have it in this one, because I'm more invested in catching up with Rick and Michonne because they've been gone for so long. 
If there's no variance to this, I'm, that's a pass for yeah, me. I'm, yeah, I'm more yeah. engaged with their story. It, it, it but seems, I hope we it, do see it something. It seems kind of cheap if they don't have them, because why make such a big deal out of it, With which was essentially the whole point of World Beyond, if you're not going to yeah. at yeah. some point feature them. Dude had a, like a colonel's hat on. Yeah, that was a little interesting that it had that hat on. Fuel, right there. <laughs> the gold, two, gold two, teeth. two front gold teeth and the hat on. Yeah, that's uh, that doesn't look like an American style military. And that almost fire. looks European, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it looks like an old European. Oh, Rick has yeah. got work there. Yeah. Oh. Building gone. That is, yeah, uh, I'm not sure if it's mustard gas, but it's some sort of I think that's something. what they're implying. Yeah, it's some sort of that, yellow that gas. tricked out uh, RV there with the solar, solar panels and, and all, all that the supplies. Gear. Yeah. Jeez. It's Morgan. <laughs> to yeah, me, that this kind of is... looks like Rick there with See, the eyebrows a little bit, but I could be wrong on that. But eyebrows? I don't know what you're seeing but with I, eyebrows. <laughs> I don't see any right of that. I, the stature looks a little too small to be Rick, I think. And it, again, it look at probably the shoulder. Be Rick look at the, the shoulder width. The shoulder width to me doesn't say Rick. No. Uh, no. I mean, at this point, that could be a man or a woman. I don't even know. I still think that's Rick, yeah, but I could be wrong. Sure. All right, now that's hundred percent a helicopter. She's looking up the, 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 how hard it's blowing. That's a helicopter. So what? It, I I think this might be in the first episode because we're only dealing with six episodes, yep. right? So I, what if she caught the very tail end of Rick getting captured? Assuming that's where they pick up off from, and at the end of episode one, this is what we get as a happy Michonne. It could be that, that or maybe she knows that Rick is alive. Uh, it could be that, or she could just be seeing a clue that Rick is still alive because I don't think they would give us Michonne's response to finding Rick for the first time no, in the trailer. No, it's this. I is, think it's a I clue. think this is a. I think it's a clue or a misdirect or something because it's too. It's too big of a moment. Oh, a happy Michonne Let's looking up at the, the helicopter. Well, dude, <laughs> keep in mind the season three trailer at San Diego Comic Con. Merle was gone for. Uh, almost two full seasons, and then, boom! Say hello to your good old pal Merle. Yeah, like yeah. so, let's. They've done. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, with typically with these trailers at San Diego Comic Con, you can always say that it's the first four episodes with their trailer. But now that we're only getting six, that's why I'm assuming. There's some kind of clue mm. that she got that Rick's alive because those are happy tears. Yeah. I was gonna say, and this Not, is I'm dying tears. And this is a stretch, but I was trying to see if there was any reflection in her eyes, but mm. can't really see no. much there. No, oh. no. But although yeah, if you so zoom in on her pupils, maybe. There's what is that? You can almost make something out in her. In her uh, they might have knows, something in her eyes. Denies beautiful, beautiful eyes. I went back too much. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, you guys it's, are it's, it's something that uh, you, you, you know, guys are. It's something you guys horizontal. Are you guys, reach. Are, you two are. Are those Rick eyebrows? <laughs> no, I, it's I, a reach. See. I think that's a helicopter in in the right one there. Right I think there. That's what it looks like. Or it could just be the a bright light from something called the sun. The sun's could be not gray. <laughs> it looks gray. Either way. Just, Either way. I'm I'm <laughs> pumped because the, I, again I still feel like six episodes is not a lot for no, as much story no. that Rick and Michonne have. What length they're gonna be? Yeah, with your typical forty. Your yeah, one they're uh, so it's gonna be like that going big. that forty two to forty seven sweet spot depending on how many commercials are in each one. But I have I hope they give us at least a minimum of an hour and a half for episode six. Give me two hours. I'll be ha I'll even be happy with three hours. That won't happen. But minimum of an hour and a half, I hope they give us for, for like, episode six. Yeah, I don't think you're going to hear a single complaint from anybody if they run all of these episodes long, much less the finale. I mean, you give us a two-hour finale, that's essentially a movie, which, 
I don't want to say it's happened a a lot, but it's, you know, it's trending in the way they shoot this stuff is to give almost a a cinema length. uh, Yeah. Like a continental style. Yeah. Yeah, Well, the only thing, and and, you know, full disclosure here, had I not seen Daryl Dixon and how fantastic of a job they did on that one, honestly, guys, my expectations would be pretty low. I'm like, Oh, they're going to drop the ball. You know, fear was fear world beyond was really something. And, you know, it just... the We're not even counting Tales. Yeah, and then Tales. There was like one episode I enjoyed. There was one that was enjoyable. But uh, so, you know, they were kind of hurting there for a minute. And I'm being very kind with my words out of respect to everybody involved in in making them. But uh, seeing Daryl, this gives me a lot of hope. And Dead City. And Dead City was good um, with, you know, with JDM, of course, and uh, and Lauren Cohan. So... But I think this is going to be good. I think we're going to get some answers. I really, truly hope they do some fan service for us and give us the ending we want. I don't think, and side tangent here, I don't think Rick's hand's gone. I know Robert Kirkman said it was like one of his biggest regrets when he did the comics. So I don't see why they would do that here. I would be amazed because Kirkman is on record. I think it was back in 18 um, where he did admit saying, hey, that was one of my biggest regrets, like you said. Can you imagine if Gimple and them were like, hey, we're going to do that? Yeah, because, I mean, just and think then, of all the little stuff Rick's got to do, whether it's reloading a weapon or pulling something or grabbing something or, you know, whatever. You're severely limiting that. So I don't know why you would do it. I don't think it's necessary. There's so much other stuff going on. A hand. I mean, that's what we're going to They've given us to. that with they've, other they've, characters. They've, they've there's, times. there's people that Multiple have lost times. limbs. Yeah. Aaron, Aaron Merle, you know. Tyrese, they yeah. did, but didn't save them. Yeah. There's multiple times they've given us people who have lost limbs showed us Alicia. Um, how they adapted, how they used, you know, their prosthetics as weapons and things of that nature. So I think they've given us kind of that already where that, yeah. we don't need it again. And for somebody who's your main character, it mm-hmm. absolutely does create a whole new slew of physical challenges. Why do we want to do that to Rick? Living in this <laughs> Unless they're world. killing him off. That's the only, that's the mm-hmm. only thing I could see that they would justify it. Re- reloading a revolver, you'd have to hold... You'd, I think you'd have a speed loader on your right hip and have a holster next to it, and you'd have to holster it, speed loader there, out. Yeah, it'd be tough. And it'd be tricky. You better not. I'm looking yeah. forward to this. Uh, One I, hand and a 44. <laughs> good <laughs> luck. Yeah, good luck. Uh, just like... Quinn, I still have my reservations a little bit because, mm-hmm. again, six episodes uh, for so much story. these two characters, the one character who launched basically AM- AMC, in my opinion, yeah. and then Breaking Bad came along in season four and season five when everyone caught on. Yep. Uh, but you have Rick, you have Michonne, two big staples of The Walking Dead. You're only giving them six episodes. Mm-hmm. Now, it's to my knowledge, it's been up in the air. No 100% confirmation either way. If, they're, if it's only six and they're completely done, or if it's six and we're splitting them off, either way, there's been no hardcore definitive yeah, answers no on that. But right now, they're saying it's only six. So again, there's yep. a ton of story that they're leaving on the table if it's only six. So I, uh, my worry is some shit's going to be rushed. But I still, at the end of the day, it's Andy, it's Deny. I hope to God they treated this like their little baby, Gimple. I hope you did. And I hope you do it some damn justice. Yeah, well, so. Rick Grimes launched an entire network, so I think they owe it to him. So I got a feeling this is going to be a banger. So for the Appleton Oak, that's Diamond Dave. I'm Mason Don't Quinn. screw it up! We will see you uh, February 25th for the ones who live. <laughs>